Hey everyone, it's Riley and today we've got another custom bullet journal to flip through. So for those of you who don't know, I sell custom bullet journals over on Etsy so all of my customers get to choose the number of months they want, the kind of spreads they want, what themes they want, all of that sort of stuff. So this specific customer chose to have a six month journal with lots of pink. So I hope I didn't overdo it on the pink. I kind of got carried away and had a lot of fun just making tons of like monochromatic pink themes, but I did add some color towards the end. So let me know what you think, which of these themes are your favorite and let's just get into the flip through. So here's the bullet journal that we'll be flipping through today. It's one of my favorite cover options that the Artist Loft Journal has. It's just this really light gray faux leather. And just like all the other Artist Loft Journals, it's got two bookmarks. It's got an elastic closure, pen loop, and there is a little pocket in the back as well. So just like with every other journal, I started off with a little name page for my customer and then get into the yearly spreads. So like I said, this customer loves pink, so I figured I would start off the year strong, use a bunch of pink. So she's got her title here for 2022 and then a year at a glance. Then she's got a large future log here where she can write down key dates, holidays, birthdays, all that kind of stuff. Here she's got a page to reflect on previous months or years. So I gave her a couple prompts. I learned, I accomplished, and I remember. And then on this side, she's got a page for things that she wants to remember to check out. So those are her yearly spreads, all in pink with some flowers and banners. And then getting into the first month, which is January. So this January theme um, was inspired by an Instagram account called Doodaloo. They did sort of a similar thing, but not with pink and not with flowers, but still, I got the idea from them, so I'll try to link their account down below. And actually, I recently did something similar to this, but with like pair pair airplanes and stuff in a different bullet journal that I flipped through. So if you wanna check that one out, I will link that one right above. So every month has a title page here and then a little quote off to this side then a nice brain dump page, and then a monthly check-in. So this is exactly like what I use in my bullet journal every month. So instead of doing like a mood tracker or a gratitude log, I just like to kind of lump that into one place where I can use it when I feel like it instead of being tied to using it every day. So I give her a few prompts. She's got this month I'm feeling, thankful for, and learning. And then we get into the weekly spreads. So since this is a full doodle journal, all of the weekly pages have little drawings and designs up top that go along with that theme. So this is the most recent like weekly spread that I've started doing, but I really like it. It's still got like both pages split into kind of four quadrants, but then all of the sort of special stuff or the accent stuff is all in one spot instead of the old way that I used to do it where I would have the title over here and then the personal list and work list over here. She did request a few blank pages in between the months and since she only wanted a six month journal, there was enough space to do that. So there's about three blank pages between each month. And then we've got February. So another pink theme, I drew this little envelope with some flowers and a letter coming out. And for the lettering here, I used my letter stamps that I recently got from Paper World. And I will have a discount code linked for them in the description in case you're interested in checking those out. Then again, she's got her brain dump and her monthly check-in. And then the weekly spreads. So this is the second weekly layout that she opted for where the days of the week are in the middle here. And then she's got a spot for personal tasks, work tasks, and then just general tasks. So lots of things to do that she wanted to write down each week. Then we've got a few blank pages again before getting into March. So March um, was a bit of a challenging theme to make for me um, because in the month of March, her daughter actually passed away when her daughter was 20 years old. Um, so we chatted about that a bit. She sent me some ideas of things that her daughter really enjoyed and I tried to tie those things together to honor her daughter and the pain that she goes through, especially in the month of March around her daughter's birthday. So her daughter loved pink, so everything is in pink. I've got a quote here that I found 
quite comforting, I guess. Um, I put a little heart around her daughter's birthday. She said her daughter loves shoes and fashion. She was very into like food and also makeup. So I tried to incorporate a bunch of those things and she also requested that there be a little angel somewhere in the spread. So I just made a little pink angel looking down on it all. And then here's the brain dump and here's the monthly check-in page. Honestly, I felt completely inadequate to make a theme for a month like this, um, but I do hope that she enjoys it. And I know that she's a very strong woman with all that she's gone through. So here's her third weekly style. The days of the week are all over on the side here. And then on the other page, she's got a spot for tasks, personal and work. These little stickers in the corner are from um, Obujo. They actually come in a roll, like a roll of washi tape, but they're all a bunch of stickers and you can get them in like different color palettes. So this is from the pink roll. I also have the green one, the white one, and the brown one that just have a bunch of aesthetic little stickers um, within that color palette. So next is April and April is my favorite month in this journal. So for this month, I did strawberries and these really simple like wavy lines. Um, and actually all of the markers that I used actually for most of the pink so far, but especially for April, these markers are all from the Crayola Colors of the World set. It's a relatively new set to the Crayola collection, but it's one that I really, really love. And it's only like five or six dollars US on Amazon for the pack of 24. So if you're interested in that, I will have that linked down in the description as well. So then we've got our brain dump and monthly check-in. And then we're back to that first weekly style where we've got all of our kind of key information on the side. So before we continue on with the video, I want to say a quick thank you to our sponsor today, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions of people come together to take the next step in their creative journey. They offer thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. I just recently completed a class called Hand Lettering in Procreate, Fundamentals to Finishing Touches with Geogram, and I learned so much. The amazing thing about Skillshare is that it's curated specifically for learning, so there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes so that you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. So if you're looking to learn a new skill this summer, please don't forget to check out the description box because the first 1,000 people to use the link will get a free one month trial of Skillshare so that you can explore your creativity. And then after a few blank pages, we get into May. So for me, I did kind of a abstract blobs with these little leafy designs. This actually is the only pink that I've used so far in this journal that is not from the Crayola Colors of the World. So this darker color here is one of these Shuttle Art dual tip brush pens. But other than that, so far all the pinks that you've seen have been Crayola Colors of the World. All right, so it was at this point that I thought, hmm, even though she loves pink, I hope she doesn't like get sick of it. So maybe I should start including some other colors so that she's not stuck with only pink for her entire journal. So in June, this is the first time when a color other than pink made it into this journal. So she mentioned that she also likes pastel colors. So I did this pastel seashell theme with some really colorful calligraphy. Again, she's got her brain dump and her monthly check-in. And then we've got the weekly spreads. So again, tasks, work, and personal over on this side. So for this page here, I used a sticker that I thought kind of fit with the color palette a bit. Um, I got this from an artist and Etsy shop over on Instagram who reached out and asked if she could send some stuff over to me. So her name is Jari Ann, and I will have her Instagram account linked down in the description as well. She's got stickers, earrings, that kind of stuff if you want to check that out. So she ordered a six month journal, but I decided to add seven. I don't know why, I just felt like I should. Like 
we connected, you know? So I added a seventh month here for the month of July. So I did this little highway road signs theme that I've done a few times lately. Again with pastel colors, but I brought in more than just pink for this one. And these are probably some of my favorite weekly spreads in the journal. And that brings us to the end of her six month journal. So if you're interested to know more about my custom journals, you can check out the link to my Etsy shop and to my Instagram account, which are down in the description. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed flipping through this six month journal. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments which monthly themes are your favorite, and I'll see you guys in the next video.